you know there's a tornado watch? Stop peeing everywhere. Oh, in your whole life, in your whole 18 years. <laughs> it's driving dad insane. <laughs> Back in your house, what do you think? I wish I could be here for longer. are obviously the muscle um wizards declare wizards obviously. archers declare everything out I mean, wall breakers go in clear path for the pekkas okay it's just basic stuff and then uh <laughs> builder base attacks builder base attacks are gonna be uh three wall breakers we got one two three four five six seven, eight, seven. ten uh night witches they spawn bats instead of skeletons regular witch spawn skeletons night witch bats and then um obviously uh hold on obviously my battle machine where is it you guys have any ah, idea what he's talking about my battle is, machine is yeah. level 20 so that's um that's like a good threshold we need um so my ability is at level four mm -hmm. you know the, right. the lightning ability whereas hammer turns the lightning in three his next three hits are really good it also gives him hp so is this like a preschool activity this is a little warm-up little appetizer get you ready for what's gonna happen next anatomy yeah well this Math, is marketing well i kind of get the important stuff out of the way first and then <laughs> yeah, I'll go to first school. we work then we play right and then i'll yeah and then i'll go to school <laughs> and mess around with like the muscular system but uh yeah other than that <laughs> Okay, so that's our morning so far. Well, actually, our morning's been a little bit more exciting than that. We've got Edward in the back. You can sort of see him right there. He's in his little holder, thank you. Taking him to the vet. He's been, if you watched the video a couple of days ago, he has been peeing outside the box, which is not even funny. First of all, it's stinky. Second of all, I feel bad for him, like even if there's something going on. Oh, that stinks. And, and like, everyone's throwing I'm like, ah! Like last night he almost peed on the couch. I could tell he was trying to dig. I was like, oh my gosh. And it's driving dad insane. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I'm taking him to the vet. And today we're flying to Maryland. I'm supposed to leave at 10 a.m. to go to the airport. Yeah, so, so you're going to leave me here with Mr. Piscat and, <laughs> and, and, and dad. Who well, that sounds Mr. like Piscat. fun. Wow, I can't wait. <laughs> and you might have to feed Mr. Kitty Cat. I mean, like, definitely feed him and change his litter, but you might have to give him medicine. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, really quick, over the Clash Royale side. Oh, sure. Really quick. It was take, like, 30 seconds. Uh, level 14 Giant Skeleton is my favorite card in the game. Uh, level 14 Fireball, level 14 Zap, which level 14 is max. Level 14 Baby Dragon, level 14 Bandit, level 14 Bomber, level 14 Valkyrie, and level 13 Ice Wizard. I'm trying to get him up, but he's a legendary, so it takes a while to upgrade. Uh, but I got 11 out of 20 cards for him right now. So, uh, level 14 is max. By the way, this is my deck. Feel free to copy. It's absolutely insane. Try it out. I guarantee you, uh, you'll get some dubs. Actually, I'm going to get a dub right now. 
I'm at it. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Five days. Five days. I'll be back in five days. All right, Ryan has spotted his friends. I love right. you. Hey, Ma. Have a great day at school and a great weekend. Thanks, Ma. All right, just got back from the vet and little guy, they gave him some tests and realized that there's nothing medically wrong with him. It's behavioral. Stop peeing everywhere. Stop. Yelling at him is not gonna help. We don't want him to be stressed out. We're trying to, no, cats don't understand that. She said dogs do, but cats don't understand that. So not the stick or carrot method? Exactly. It's more about changing their environment and that kind of stuff. So we're moving. <laughs> just kidding. Did you have to give me. No, we didn't learn about cats in psychology. Right. If I took animal psychology, that would be a little bit different. So the little guy. So we have some anti-anxiety medicine for him. So I'm gonna give him that. I think that maybe the only they asked if there was, huh? How do they make that for cats? I don't know. I don't know. Anti-cat anxiety medicine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Hi, Mike. Hey, nice shirt. Look at you. Oh, uh, I love it. It's very comfortable. Look at that. It's great. You're pretty can, cool in it too. Well, and it looks great. Can I take a picture of you for the website? Oh my gosh. Shop dressed man. <laughs> it's the famous Mike dance. Now, how about this? <laughs> You're going to break it if you do that. Sure. Yes. Do you know there's a tornado watch? I do, yes. That's exciting. Yeah. Yes, through four o'clock. So I don't know if we're going to be able to fly out. Number one. Number two, Ryan texted me. He said that he still didn't let him out of first period. He was there for like two hours. Because? A tornado watch. Really? Yeah. We can't leave. Because they have, when they leave their classroom, they have to go outside of the school. Oh. Um, to go to another classroom. So stay tuned to find out what's going to happen. Oh my gosh. Let me show everybody. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. That is for real. I like the music too, Mike. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it sounds like a tornado. You might be able to get out. What time are you leaving? You're supposed to fly. Well, now it was supposed to fly at 11:40. Now it's to leave 11:53. Oh. <laughs> We're back in Maryland, you guys. It is cold, and it is a rainy. beautiful day. <laughs> beautiful day. A wonderful welcome home to the Floridians. Oh my gosh. Good change of pace, though. It is a change of pace. Get 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 your chill on and then move back and then go back. It's a nice warm you warm. Yes, and I get to wear a fun jacket. So cold clothes. Yeah. So you guys haven't been here. So Brandon and Katie have not been back in six months. They've been back. And so for those of you who are new or just as a refresher, um, so the kids grew up in Maryland. We've lived here for we lived here for 22 years. I think it was 22. 1999. Yeah, 22, almost 23 years, and. Katie graduated from high school here, so did Brennan. We moved to Florida. Well, I've never moved in my life. Right. So, none of us ever have. Yeah, right, they grew up here. But we kept the house, we kept the house, and we bought the Florida house thinking that that was just gonna be like a, a vacation house for us. Because we were there a lot. We were there a lot, yes. But we decided to move down there and have Ryan go to finish out high school down there. And Brennan and Katie, of course, go to college there. But they're like five, uh, five and a half hours away from. Oh yeah, we're not we're close. <laughs> so, I mean, we didn't move to Florida to be, like to be closer to them to go to school. Like, it's nicer. It is nice, but. but and you got the place before. Yeah. We decided that we wanted to go to the school there. Exactly. But anyway, so regardless, I, I, I make no excuses. Even if we did buy a place to be close to you, that would have been fine too. But that's not why that happened. It's just sort of all what happened. Anyway, that's where I took driver's ed. <laughs> So this is their first time home and we are going to go to our I've never place. been away from home this long in my life. So. Yes. So it's exciting. So I showed up the other day and dad was like, oh, in your whole life, in your whole 18 years. <laughs> and I was like, dad, it's still my whole life. It is. It's still your life. Everybody has different experiences and this is your experience, right? Yeah. So and I'm excited to see the house. Yes. I'm so sad uh, why? because the house has been decorated every year. For Christmas, and now it's not decorated. Why? And she probably is really sad. Oh. Because she's like, all the other houses are decorated, but my people are home to decorate me. Oh. Well, we have some decorations we can plug them in. Okay. You wanna? Yeah. Put the two trees out front. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe if not we're... today though, because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If we're feeling a little crazy, we could get the reeds out. Brian. 
What's up? Do you have anything to add? Anything to add? Are you excited to be here? Uh, I can't wait to eat pizza from Bella Italia. That's gas. And then uh, I'm gonna call all my friends and be like, what are you guys doing? They're gonna be like, we don't like you anymore. And be like, okay, and then hang up and then cry. So, that's not <laughs> then you can hang out with your mama. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Well, <laughs> bowling alley. We're happy what to be here. What do you think you'll do while you're here, Kate? Who are you going to say? Uh, all my friends. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. And go bowling, Brennan? Yes. Okay. It's not going to be as good as the FSU Union, but... And what are the, what other things, like food? So there's a the, um, breakfast log. You'll get that. Amish market. Can you explain what a breakfast log is? A breakfast log is bacon, egg, and cheese wrapped in a pretzel. So but it's good. so good. It's so good. You don't understand it until you've had it, but it's like really bad how good it is because it's so bad for you. Like it's so bad for you. But it's they make really them yummy, fresh right there. They make them fresh in front of you, yeah. Yeah. So. So you gotta get one of those. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah. The Amish people really know how to make a breakfast log. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brendan, so Ryan is not with us because he has school. Did I already mention that? I might have mentioned no, that I don't. Morning. Oh, maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, has school and, and so he doesn't like Maryland so yes he does and Mike is um but he really likes Florida too so Mike is staying home with Ryan and we are gonna be here for five crazy nights <laughs> yeah oh, I wish you could be here for longer I think you'll be ready to go when it's time to go I don't think so okay. I love you guys we'll see you guys probably when we get our pizza you're back in your house what do you think so what? Here. yeah do you remember it? So little. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Brennan, look at you. Surprise, your door didn't slam shut. Yeah, it doesn't do that anymore. We bought a new door, remember? Oh. Katie's looking at her room. Oh, we need to make the bed. Sweet. Oh, Can we eat pizza now? Yeah, I still have to do that. Can you hear all the noise in the background? I absolutely adore it. Brennan has like 15 friends downstairs watching Thursday night football. I think they went bowling first and now they're watching football downstairs. I just went out to dinner with my friends and their husbands and I missed Mike. I wish he was here, but um, it is so nice. I, I was concerned about, you know, moving and thinking I don't want to leave all my friends and the, the life that we've built and the and the friends and family that we've made here. But my sister-in-law told me, Cynthia, they've moved a few times and, and they've always said that each time we move, we just gain new friends. We don't lose the old ones. And while it was a little bit scary to move to Florida from Maryland after 22 years of living here, I think it was a great move. Like, I will never lose these friends. I'm so happy we kept the house so we could come back and visit and half live right <laughs> and see everybody and just continue our friendships and um, the relationships that we have built here and then build new ones in Florida as well it is um, it makes my heart full makes my heart happy um, to also be able to give this opportunity to the kids to have new friends keep the old what they say I know it's a gold, Girl Scout thing right make new friends keep the old one is silver the other gold I just think widening your horizons is um, something worth doing. I think it was a little bit scary for us to move and a little bit of a bold move. Um, but I think it's a risk that was calculated a little bit and worth taking. And I just encourage you all as much as you can to like take a risk, do something different, shake it up a little bit. Uh, embrace change and I think Katie and I were talking about that today in the car I don't think we videoed it but we're talking about change and embracing change and how change can sometimes be looked at as a negative thing but oftentimes it ends up being very positive if you approach it the right way so I'm really really happy and my heart is full <laughs> so Kate just interrupted my vlog she called me which is great so she's over to friend Alyssa's house I said Kate who's there she said everyone that's great. So she's together with all her dudes, uh, peeps, I should say, 
Brennan's together with all of his dudes downstairs. I was with my dudes tonight. I have more dudes this weekend. It's just so sweet. And like I said earlier today, this is the perfect time of the year where sort of things are winding down. The celebrations are beginning. Everybody comes home, right? You come home, not just to the physical place, but to what's in your heart and, and we're home. And then we'll go back to Florida and also be home there, which is really nice because our whole family will be there. So I'm gonna end this vlog now because I don't think that I'm gonna get anything from Kate or Brennan, which is totally fine. I want them to spend their time with their friends. And um, what made me happy today was exactly that, everybody being home. So I miss Brennan, or I miss Ryan and Mike, um, but I know they're doing what they need to do at home uh, in Florida. And, Ryan is doing homework and Mike's doing work and staying there with Ryan to make sure that he gets done what he needs to get done. So what a blessing it is to be here. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. My advice to you is always, well, let me say this, take a risk, live a little bit uncomfortable because you never know what's going to be on the other side and bring all your friends along, collect friends. It's worth it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.